So I'm Barry Silverstein. I think I met most of you. Um, projection Technology Manager at Kodak. And uh, there's a few things that uh, need to get out of the way. First of all, um, some anniversaries. This is the 50th anniversary of the laser, so which is a great thing. So uh, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the laser, we come out with projection technology. Projection technology uh, uh, is, is one of the things that the inventors of the laser uh, wanted to do from the very beginning. And, uh, it's only now becoming cost effective and, and reproducible enough to be able to bring it to market. Um, so we're going to talk about lasers today, uh, laser projection. And uh, one thing I want to mention is that um, lasers, is, you know, so I, I worked on projection at Kodak for probably 10, 11, 12 years. Uh, I did start with uh, trying to improve film projection, and uh, we did we did some of that, uh, and and it was it was good, but uh, maybe a little late. So we, uh, we actually incorporated uh, some of the technology. Some folks are using a thing called the quicker mitten, which is uh, an inter intermittent, a, a revolutionary new intermittent uh, to to get more light through the system, and uh, it's still running in somebody's uh, theater. Um, you know, uh, we tried to also innovate in lamp houses, but uh, but digital, we saw digital was coming very quickly, so so we quickly moved to, uh, to digital. And as Gary said, uh, in 2001, uh, my team uh, introduced in Hollywood the first LCOS projector, uh, was 10,000, probably 11,000 lumens also, uh, shown in Hollywood uh, using a, uh, it was actually 3K chips, um, and people had said to us when we started that, that projector project, uh, we were told by some experts uh, that it couldn't be done. We couldn't get that much light onto a uh, um, small cost chip. And uh, so, so we did it a little bit of commercializing it. And, and uh, you know, if, if I were you, I'd ask why, why, why didn't you commercialize that? People, people have said, you know, when's this going to be done? We're hungry for it. And uh, the reason behind that is that it was, it was good technology. In fact, it was, it was used in the industry. Um, the, the technology behind it was used. We didn't commercialize it. Um, but if you, if you bought a rear projection TV, some of the things that we did in the projector were actually used in rear projection TVs um, while they were still around. Um, uh, but we, we decided that we couldn't get better image quality than what was out there. And more importantly, we couldn't beat it in price. So what's the point of coming out with something that is just as good at the same price or maybe more expensive than what's already out there? You're not serving anybody, you're just you know, uh, uh, spending money and, and not really getting something good at it. So we went back to the drawing board. Um, and and for, for the past, uh, since I guess about 2003, I had a system in between what you're seeing today that, uh, that I thought was a great idea. And it was a, it was a good idea, but uh, the technology wasn't ready. So, so um, I have that prototype sitting in my uh, my my lab. Um, this is the third, and I think the best uh, projector. Uh, I know the best projector that, that I've done um, with my team. Um, the time is right for this projector. The technology is right. And most important is the, the cost structure and, and what it delivers for the industry. Right? You have to have you have to have a di differentiator. You have to have a reason. And when I went into the third, this third system, the reason was the exhibitors. Okay, as Gary had said, uh, that that's the area that that you know what I call the, the, the pressed, you know, the oppressed masses of of of, uh, of people. Um, you know, the, the studios had their standards, um, and that was all set. Um, but you try to figure out how to pay for this transition and how it affects the actual theater owner was not really addressed very well. And that's why some of this transition has taken so long because you know it's more expensive uh, for a theater owner to operate and to cost up front. So if we could, I figured if I could handle that, if I could address that issue, that Kodak would have an absolute winner. And so that's what we went after. So as Gary said, the image quality wasn't the, the, you know, the, the first thing on the list. The first thing on the list was cost. Get the cost out of the system and get the cost out of operation. So what you're going to see is how we how we went about doing that. 